Back Method Gang. We back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about five downsides of being Jack, the dark side of body game. Now, obviously, the positives outweigh the negative side, the downsides, but there's still downsides you will experience when you start getting ripped in Jack. Now, as far as body game, this also applies to just you know your appearance just upgrading your looks and all these things but mostly with the body your body exudes a lot of masculinity it exudes a lot of physicality you know when people see you like me all the time i get people looking at me and they always comment on my body how clothes look on me how they, they just look like i just look very aggressive because of my physique because my body exudes masculinity it's a, it's almost intoxicating in a way as far as the downside, number one, we got intimidation and intimidating people. Now, people will be intimidated by you. I say some people because not all, but some people will be intimidated by you off rip. They might see you and just be afraid of you. Not literally where they're scared of you, but in the sense where they might fear. They just might fear you in the sense where you just look so aggressive and so just, you know what I mean? A, a dog, a, a type of... You just look mean. <laughs> it does what it really just boils down to. You just look mean. You know what I mean? Like me, if I'm standing in the spot with no expression on my face, just a resting face, and I'm wearing, you know, clothing that I am, I'm freaking looking jacked and ripped and all these things. Some people might be intimidated by that because I just look like I'm ready to snap at any second. Like I'm full of aggression, full of anger. If I'm just staring at like in the spot and like that, you might automatically off rip think i'm um, you know someone that you should be wary of so this also causes nervousness especially in women because they might like i said be scared of you they might not want to even approach you they might get away from you because they think that you're a problem now obviously when you talk to them that's going to shift um they're going to change perspective but in the initial look some people will be scared and this even applies to some guys they might automatically be trying to stay away from you because they don't know what type of guy you are, obviously, and especially if you're just straight up mogging them in a way and you just look like you're someone that they should be wary of, you know what I mean? It just is what it is. It comes with the intimidation is a big factor. Now, if we move to number two, a downside too is everyone thinks you're a player, okay? Most people are just going to think you're a player. A lot of people think I am a player, you know what I mean? Just because of how I look, they automatically see me and think, oh, yeah, this guy's dogging people out. This guy's doing all this stuff, which I'm not. Um, you know what I mean? If I'm in a relationship, I'm I'm always with that one person and I don't step out. You know what I'm saying? But it comes with it. They automatically assume that you're out here playing people. You're out here sliming people out. You know, you're you're grimy. You're moving different. It's because. The way you look, they don't, they're not used to seeing a guy that looks like you. They're not used to seeing someone that's handsome, attractive, someone that's just jacked, someone that's just carries themselves in that type of way. Because if you look around, most guys are out of shape, obese, fat, skinny twigs. They don't take care of themselves. You know what I'm saying? So they're, when they see you, you stand out, obviously, from everyone else. So they're going to think that you are a player. I get it all the time. Um... They're going to think you're a liar because a player, you're lying, you're lying to women, you're you're dogging them out, all type of things, which is is not true. Hey, some people might. Yeah, they'll probably, you know, some people are players, you know what I'm saying? But some people aren't. They just looked apart, but they're not actually a player. You know what I'm saying? But automatically they're going to think you are. A lot of women will think you are <laughs> dogging them out and they might not even want to communicate with you or talk with you or chop it up with you because off rip they're gonna think that they're gonna get hurt they're gonna you're gonna play them out you're gonna do them like you did the last trick whatever they're thinking it's gonna they're not gonna want to deal with you because they automatically have that that you know that that thinking of you that perspective of you because they probably got dogged out by a guy that looks just like you so they're automatically gonna see you and think okay he's just like the guy i just messed with you know what i mean so that's that's one of the things um like i said they're going to automatically disqualify you. They're going to automatically lump you in with the other guys. By other guys, I mean other guys that look like you, that are jacked, handsome, attractive, that like are in that kind of pool. And let's be honest, hey, we do got a lot of people that, you know, <laughs> that are players that look like that. So can you really blame them? Hey, but still, you know, 
It's just part of it. It's just a part of it. Three, downside number three is men will definitely try you. Now, they'll test you in the sense where they'll just, they're intimidated by you. That's part of the intimidation. And their insecurities will show because they see you, Jack. They see you looking good. They see you and they automatically think that, okay, this guy obviously can get women. This guy can obviously is a problem. And they might feel attacked by that just because you stand out and you're someone that they deem as a threat a threat to their chick if they're with some if they're with you know in a relationship a threat to their potential people that they're trying to get with things like that which is so dumb but a lot of guys are actually like that um they will literally want to fight you like test you in a way it's crazy like even when walking down the street, if I walk down the street, I've noticed this a couple of times. I'm not saying this happens every time I walk down the street, but I've definitely noticed that if a couple is walking down the street and I'm walking towards where the, the like the side of a woman, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm walking down, she's walking down and she's next to me, the guy will pull her in closer when I'm walking by, staring dead at me, things like that. Even though I'm not going to do anything, but it's just things like this because they're intimidated and they're, they're just insecure. And that's... Like I said, that didn't that doesn't happen often, but it has definitely happened before. Another thing would be even even at my job, like I mean, this is kind of a little different because the woman was actually trying to <laughs> was complimenting me in a way. So it wasn't even though it wasn't warranted for him to be angry at me, because I hey, I'm not the one doing anything. But there's been times where a couple would come in and the woman would be complimenting me, oh my shirt. Oh, I love your hair. I love this. I love that. And the guy in the back is looking at me like he wants to he wants to throw down with me. And hey, we can get it popping at any time. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying that's something I can't control. That's your chick, bro. You need to check her, not me. I can't control what she does to me. I didn't even say anything to her. I'm just talking to her regular. You know what I mean? But they'll. this is something that they're insecure and they're trying to put their insecurities on you. You know what I'm saying? They'll try to lower your confidence in front of women. They'll try to lower your, your lower your confidence in front of other guys. Have you ever people that are jacked know what I'm talking about? People that are actually jacked and in shape and really ripped out here, they know what I'm talking about. When you talk to someone and they kind of like they they do like backhanded compliments in a way in front of other people, especially if they're with their girl, especially if they're with you know if you're you know with girls and with, even with guys, but especially if you're with other girls, they'll try to backhand compliments you in the sense where they'll be like, oh, um, oh, wow, looking good, man. I mean, all you do is work out, right? Like, they'll basic they're basically trying to say that you have no life. All you do is just you're in the gym all day. That all that's all you have going for them. And then they'll try to put you down and pick themselves back up and be like, oh, yeah, I do this. I do that. Like, you probably don't have time to do anything because all you do is, is spend your time in the gym. Yeah, I mean, you have that physique. You have that. It's like a backhanded compliment, bro. They're complimenting you on your physique and your body. But in reality, they're trying to tear you down and trying to make other people look at you like, oh, this guy's a this guy that has nothing going for himself other than just working out. You know what I mean? It, you'll get that a lot. That's what I mean by they'll try to test you and they'll try to do these things to try to lower you down. Like, I, this happens to me all the time. Number four would be people will automatically think you're arrogant, cocky, and selfish. He only cares about himself. Now, this is what I, many times my coworkers actually, they told me this later, but they were standoffish at first is because they thought that I was going to be cocky, arrogant, and full of myself. Even the first time, you know, the first day when I started working there, you could tell they were kind of like weary of me and, and they were acting it just not normal until until really after quickly finding out that okay this guy's nothing like that you know what i mean if you know me in real life you know i'm i'm not cocky i'm not arrogant i'm not selfish i'm not you know i think i'm better than other people absolutely not if you know me in person bro you know that i'm the complete opposite of that <laughs> although my exterior might show that you know people might think that because of how i look and how i carry myself but as you'll quickly come to realize that I'm the complete opposite of that. And that's what they found out. But they told me that when they saw me, they're like, okay, this guy, you know, he's, he just cares about himself just because of the way I look. And you have people think that, you know, women will think that other guys will think that, and they might, they're, this will lead to them being intimidated. This will lead to them trying to try you, test you, 
You know what I mean? And, and there's all these things just because of how you look, your physique, your body, just how you carry yourself, man. You, you, it's because you stand out. A lot of this is because you stand out. So when you stand out from the general public, they're used to seeing people out of shape. They're used to people not carrying themselves in a good way, you know, not really caring about how they present themselves out in public. They don't expect anything from the average because they're the average. You're not the average. We aren't average. We clearly stand out. We clearly care about how we present ourselves. We clearly on are on our grind. You know what I'm saying? So it it just people are gonna think that all you care about is yourself. Um, it just comes with it, man. It's it really sucks, but honestly, like I said, the positives outweigh the negatives. You only have a couple of people think that majority of people won't even care about that. They'll just, they'll actually try to be with you because they see that you stand out. They see that, okay, this guy's serious. Okay, this guy's lit. Oh, this guy has this. This guy looks like that. You know what I mean? So that's why I say the, the positives outweigh the negatives by a landslide. But there's definitely, you'll definitely run into people that will do all these things. Um, you know, think you're a player. That's probably the most common, to be honest. Player and the cocky and selfish thing. Um, more times than not, people will think that of you. So now if we go to the last one, which is no intelligence. Now this one, this is also major, to be honest, because they, see, they you know, when you see someone in shape and jacked, ripped and all these things, you're automatically thinking that they're not really smart because that's just kind of the narrative that's been painted through TV shows, media, you know what I mean? All these things is the dumb jock or the guy that's like athletic and the guy that's fit and the guy that's in shape isn't really bright upstairs, isn't really intellectual at all. He All he does is you know he's just he's just someone that works out and he's just a meathead basically the muscle head all he cares about is throwing weights around all he cares about is just in the gym he has no type of intellect and people will think that of you you know what i mean they automatically assume that you aren't smart just because of you're just <laughs> ripped and jagged which is the dumbest thing ever it's so stupid <laughs> but but it happens you know people They'll think that they'll literally think that because they've been programmed by media and TV and all these things that the dumb jock, like I just said, the guy that's in shape isn't isn't worried about actually getting his, you know, in, intellect up. He's just worried about his physicality, which may be true, but that's so dumb because there's a lot of people that aren't in shape at all. And they're still dumb. like, you know, just because you're in shape doesn't mean you're dumb. It's honestly, it should be the opposite. If I see someone that's in shape, that's jacked, that's puts themselves well together, that's wearing, you know, fitted clothing, that's wearing the proper attire, that's wearing, I'm gonna actually think they are more intelligent than the other than the average guy because they carry themselves in a way that presents them to be that way. But like I said, people are so brainwashed that they think the opposite, which is insane to me. This this is probably the dumbest one is that people will think that you have no intelligence and they'll write you off of opportunities. That's the thing. When it comes to people not thinking that you're intelligent, they'll automatically not want to give you an opportunity or a chance to prove because they already have it ingrained in their minds that you're someone that doesn't care about, you know, getting doesn't care about their their intelligence you know what i'm saying because all you care about is lifting weights which is far from the truth if you know anything about this channel or in general self-development self-improvement getting the body and getting jacked and, and working on your health is obviously major but the whole point is also working on your mindset working on you know the ability for you to learn things keep studying keep learning more and more and more it's the general development of you as a person and all factors you know what i'm saying so that's just air that's just ignorance from people um honestly this one isn't as common as the rest but it, it definitely happens it definitely happens so these are just five you know signs or not five signs five dark downsides of body game and being jacked you know what i mean this is just honestly like i said the positives completely outweigh the negatives but you may experience this when you start going on that journey, when you start getting jacked and ripped, you know what I mean? And you really start showing your muscle, you really start getting big, you might experience all this. Actually, you will. 
it's not even my you're definitely going to experience this you know what i mean but this shouldn't deter you in any way to stop this shouldn't deter you in any way to oh i, I shouldn't no bro um no <laughs> you need to go full speed at it if you need help developing your mindset developing that jack physique developing the just the look your appearance your attractiveness all these things just book a call with me on Canly. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and all these things, man. You're going to get ripped, okay? You're going to have the mindset to accomplish your goals, and you're going to have the appearance and the swag to gain opportunities. Like I said in the last video, it's not just about getting jacked and getting gains and being, oh, I'm, I'm, I have muscle now. You got to understand that once you invest in yourself, everything goes tenfold. So if you have a job, for instance, you're doing sales right now and you say you 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 close a lot of leads you're doing good, but you're out of shape. You know what I mean? Um, your looks aren't really up to date. All these things. Imagine if you're already decent at sales because you're closing people. But imagine if now you have the look to where you're handsome and attractive, you're jacked, your body exudes masculinity, your body, dude, you're going to 10x. Whatever you're doing is going to 10x. And this applies to anything. It doesn't have to be any job, any bro. People are going to want to give you opportunities more. You know what I mean? Especially if they seen you develop your body from being fat and overweight or a skinny twig to getting jacked. They're going to be like, oh, this guy's on different timing. This guy's really about his shit. They're going to want to promote you. They're going to want like, oh, we need to get this guy. You know what I'm saying? Because they're seeing you come up. Rather than you already have the body and now they see you off rip. No, they, they're they at your job. They're seeing you getting jacked. So they're going to throw opportunities at you. Oh, we need him to do this. We need, yo, you know, the the they see the discipline. They see the hard work. So anyways, that's a link in my bio. You know what I'm saying? Book a call with me only if you're serious. And uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Call, comment down below Unchained. If you watch the entire thing, comment down below ideas that you want me to make you know, video ideas, and I'll see you guys on the next time.